Hey, this is Mark Moore with Christ of R.I. You may know me from Lion of Zion Entertainment. And the first time that I ever met Denton, well, they called him Gitta Dan. I said, why Gitta? Gitta means guitar. And sure enough, every time that I'd see him, he'd be cruising up and down the streets of Tunapuna area with a guitar strapped to his back, always singing. Certain things stand out to me about him. Well, besides what he did with Tico and Gitta, his incredible solo career, the original songs, I remember there's certain things stylistically that only he would do, like in between each take, he would do that, he'd make his mouth pop. He was very percussive in everything he did. And his imitations of others were bar none. Uh, I think Nicodemus was one of them. Sizzla, but no, no, Sizzla was imitating Gitta. I'm sure of it, absolutely sure of it. But there's one that he imitated the best, and that was Jesus Christ. I wanna ask you a few questions right now. As, as you're watching this, you're mourning his loss, you're suffering, you're struggling, with his life cut short, do you believe in the Bible? Do you believe that God's word is true? You know, the Bible says death wears the sting. Well, the sting is for here, for us now, it stinks. It sucks that he's gone. But on the other side of it, he's in heaven. And he's not feeling the sting, the pain. No more tears, no more crying, no more hunger. No more death. The Bible says to be absent with the body is to be present with the Lord. And while he's absent from us, this is horrible. This is a tough day. But he's present with the Lord. And that is incredible. He's singing praises forever to the king. I believe he's bringing some reggaematic worship up in heaven right now. The Bible says to live is Christ and to die is gain. Now, if you live for Christ, that is true. But if you don't live for Christ, well, your death is definitely not gain. To live is Christ. And I can think of no one else that has is, that is just had this fragrant offering of a lifestyle that just truly exudes Christ in every way than get to Dan. I remember in one of his lyrics in their first album, he says, hey yo, Mount Zion we a go. And if you not live your life right, you just can't go. So how do you live your life right? He says, take Jesus into your heart. Eternal life will flow. Remember, you, weep, you reap what you sow. We are marching to Zion, beautiful Zion. We are marching to Zion, the beautiful city of gold. I can say this with all confidence right now that get to Dan is in heaven. The real question is, are you going to heaven? He says, all who are going to Zion, put your hands in out of the air. So do me a favor right now, if you know for sure beyond a shadow of a doubt that you're going to heaven, raise your hand right now. And if you're not, just pray this prayer. Lord Jesus, say this out loud. Lord Jesus, forgive me of my sins. I make you Lord. I thank you for dying for me and for raising from the dead. Give me eternal life. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, all who are going to Zion, put your hands in the air. God bless you guys. I'm praying for you guys. And I just want to have one more very unorthodox thing happen right here, right now. As we are mourning the loss of a friend, heaven, heaven has received him. And it's a gain for heaven, trust me. You see, he's been upgraded to first class. We're still, in, we're still in coach, we're in the back. And we're like, man, this sucks. But it is great for him and I want to honor him. And I want to honor him the way that you would honor someone that had ran the race well, that finished strong. And so <laughs> on the count of three, I want to have us celebrate his life. Not mourn his death, but celebrate his life. Celebrate the fact that he's in eternal life right now and that we will see him and we will be praising the Lord 10,000 years and forevermore with him if we prayed that prayer. So on the count of three, we're going to stand, we're going to applaud, and we're going to give the greatest standing ovation ever for a life well lived in Christ. For his songs, for his love, for his life, for his family. One, two, three.